Hi, I'm George, and we'll be using Photoshop Elements to make this happy Easter card. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit share and subscribe as well. When you click on subscribe, hit that bell notification icon to get notifications of my new videos. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course, and there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, let's get to it. Here we are at the Easter Bunny card, and the first thing you need to do is to download the font that I'm using. You don't have to use these letters. You can use a different font if you want to, but let me show you where get this particular font that I downloaded for this. I think it's just kind of a happy, fun-looking font, and I found this at defont.com. Let me bring that up. There we go, and there is a link. I'll put this link right in the description so you can download that if you want to. And then it's called Wash Your Hands. Little subtle reminder there, but there you go. I think it's a real nice typeface for this particular card. I think it looks really, really good. Now, to install this, you'll have to close down Photoshop Elements and then install the font on your computer. This will download as a zip file. There's the download button right there. It'll download as a zip file. You'll have to unzip that. I put all my zip files into a folder on my hard drive named Fonts just to keep them all in one location. Unzip the font and then right click on the font. There is an open face font and a true type font. Either one should work out just fine. Right click on the font and choose install to install it onto your system. Once you've done that, then come back to Photoshop Elements, just reopen Photoshop Elements. Now the reason for closing Photoshop Elements and then reopening it is that Photoshop Elements reads your fonts when it opens the program up. So if you don't close it down and reopen it, it's not going to see that new font. But once you close down Photoshop Elements and reopen the program, you'll see this new font in your font list. Okay, so that's taken care of, we have our font. Now, we'll start off by making a new file. I'll just close this down, there we go. And then File, New, Blank File. And I'll use the default Photoshop Elements size with a six height of four. It's also a really good card size, so that's fine. Choose Open, and there we go. We now need to open up that bunny picture. I already have mine open in the photo bin. There it is. Now it's easy, if you have yours in the photo bin like this, it's easy to bring this into your working file. Just click and drag and drop like that, and it brings it right in. Or you could use the place command if you want to. Just go up to File and come down to Place, and then place this into your working file. That's also a great way to do this. Now the size is pretty good. You can see here it automatically fits the size. We'll be putting them you know, over here when we're finished, but I'll just leave them right there to begin with. The next step now is to make a selection around this. We can remove that background. I'll also set this at fit screen, just a little larger for us to work with there. So grab the regular lasso tool. I have my feathering set at zero on this one. And then just make a loose lasso right around the bunny. Doesn't need to be in very tight. Doesn't need to be real perfect or anything. Just a nice little quick lasso. Now we will lose some of those whiskers on this thing. If you really want to have the whiskers back in, you can draw those back in, but I don't think it's really noticeable in the finished image. Okay, come around like that. Now come down to Refine Edge. I have mine set here with the overlay. That's that red look. It just makes it easy to see where the mask is. I have my radius set at zero, Smart Radius, everything else left alone. And then just come in, and also my brush size right down here is at 35, and that's a pretty good size. And then come in and just do a couple of strokes like this start out right against that red edge like that and then just work your way in against the fur it may take two or three strokes and then just do it like this just little steps and this should give you a nice clean edge on that i'll just work clear around now don't worry if it's a little bit off it doesn't really matter that much on this particular one we can always of course clean the mask up later on and I'll just work right around to get right in against that edge of the bunny in there. There we go. And up around the top of the head. This is actually the most difficult part of this whole project, surprisingly enough. And as you can see, this is really pretty easy. It's a fairly straightforward, fairly easy, fun little project. Just a little quick something in here for Easter. Okay, we'll finish it off right in there. Take a little look around, and I think that looks pretty good. Okay, come down here where it says Output 2, and change this to New Layer with Layer Mask, and choose OK. 
And there we go. There's a bunny with the layer mask. I'll go back here to the move tool. We can then move the bunny around just like that anywhere you want to. Notice how I have just a bit of kind of dirtiness in here. You can actually leave that. The dirtiness up around here, I want to clean this up a little bit. This will act kind of like a shadow, so I'll just leave that bit right down there. Okay, go over to the layer mask side. Now black hides, white shows, so make sure your foreground color is black. Grab your paintbrush. I have mine set at 47 soft edge. You can just type in a number here. Let's just type in 50 soft edge, and there it is. And then just come around and we're painting black onto the layer mask, and that helps us just clean out that little bit of dirty stuff right in there. And then once that's done, we have one more little trick to clean this up. There we are, a little bit right in here, and a little bit right around in there. Looks like we can use a bit of a cleanup in there. Okay, so far so good, a little bit right there. Again, I'll leave the bottom part down here as a shadow. Now we're still on the layer mask side, and I want to increase the contrast on this. So let's go up here to Enhance, come down to Adjust Lighting, and then Brightness Contrast. Let's just increase the contrast a bit. If I pull it down, you see how this gets wider down here. If I pull that up, you see it gets a lot tighter in there. Contrast, you can adjust the brightness a little bit as well. And this will just help to squeeze that edge right in against that bunny. And I think that's looking pretty good right in there. And she's okay. Okay, the bunny is done. You can now put him right here. All we need to do is put some color on our bunny. But before we do that, let's bring our background in. So come down to the background layer right here. And then come down to graphics. And then change this to backgrounds. I have mine at by type and backgrounds. And if you scroll down about halfway, so way down here, you begin seeing some of this stuff in here. It looks like a tennis court or something right there. And I don't know what that is. And go a little bit further than that. And right down here, that's the one you want. It's called Ivy. Here's a good place to spot. It's below these hearts, which I've used in a previous project. So there it is, Ivy. Click on that. And it should load that in. Now, if you have a little blue triangle like this, Make sure that you have a currently active internet connection because that means it has to download that from the Adobe website. It just takes a moment. It's pretty fast, but you will need an internet access to do that. Okay, so there's our new background. Back to our layers. Let's now go back up to this layer again here. Let's now put some color on this. I'm first going to hide that background. So we're working with just the bunny on our bunny layer. Now make a new layer above that layer. There we go. Now, where it says layer one, right click on that and choose create clipping mask. That kind of links this layer into this layer, and this will then only be applied to just the bunny and nothing else. Now go over to the left-hand side here and grab the gradient tool, and then click on the gradient. It should look something like this when you first open it up, where it says preset and default. Change this down to spectrums. It's at the bottom, and you want the lightest one right there. It's called light spectrum. It's just kind of Easter egg colors as far as I'm concerned anyway. Looks like Easter to me. Choose OK. Now, you'll have a kind of a cross here. You can't really see it here. It's a bit hard to see on this background, but there is a cross here. You can kind of see it on his ear right there, maybe on his eye. You can see that. Actually, really hard to see that for this video. I'm going to do one more thing here. You don't have to do this. I'm doing this just so we can see what's going on. I'm going to make a new layer right above there. So let's do a new fill layer, solid color, and let's choose OK. And I make this white just like that. Okay, now back to our bunny layer and then back up to the layer right above the bunny layer right there. Okay, now you can see that cursor. There it is. So I come up here just outside of the bunny's head up here. And I'm going to be pulling this gradient down to just below the bunny's tail on the left hand side. So kind of a diagonal like that. Now let go. And that puts those colors into the bunny. If you go a different direction like this, you'll just get different colors in different directions. If you want to use a different you know, color range on that, just pull from different different spots. But I'm going above the head down to below the tail for this basic coloration right in there. And notice how it's only being applied to just that bunny. That's because this is set up as a clipping mask. Let's now hide that white layer I put in. Let's bring back our background layer. That all looks good. But we need to have these colors blending into the bunny. So we're on our gradient layer up here. Go to the blend modes and come all the way down here to where it says color. 
and that just puts those colors into the bunny. At this point, you may want to adjust the values of those colors. It's easy to do. Let's go over here to the Move tool, and then go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer, and Levels, where it says Use Previous Layer to Create Clipping Mask. Check that. Choose OK. And in here, we can increase the darks. That increases the kind of saturation in there on the dark side. You can increase the lights. That brightens it up a little bit. And you can adjust the mid values right in here. And the values that I used, 47. And in here, I used 1.38. And on the white side, I used 242. So those are my actual values, 47, 1.38, and 242. And that just kind of brightens up that bunny a little bit. If I show and hide that, you'll see how that affects those colors. Just a bit more contrasty on those colors. Okay, all we're left now is just to put in the text down below here. I always like to make a new layer like that when I'm doing text. I'll change my type here to white. So change your foreground color to white. Click on the Type tool. Double check your color right here. And then look for your typeface. Again, it's that wash your hand. Now, if you're someplace else, like way at the top up here, Let's say I'm on Arial Bold. An easy way to find that new typeface, since we know what it's called, is just to begin typing that name in. So begin typing it, and then you should see it right here on a real short list. So there we go. I have my typeface set at 24 point. It's at white. And just come in here someplace. I have mine centered, so kind of centered about where you want that. I'm in Happy and a Space and Easter. Choose OK. Let's put that right about like that, just kind of nicely fitting into this bottom right hand corner. And then a quick drop shadow on that. So that's layer. Come down to new layer style right here, style settings, drop shadow. And let's adjust the angle over just a little bit. 132 is pretty good. I have my size set at 7. Let's bring the distance out a little bit. See, there's that drop shadow right there in behind. So bring it out to 14 is what I used. There we go. And I left the opacity at 35 and choose OK. Just a nice kind of soft shadow in there. Click on the background and there we go. There's our real fast and real easy bunny. Now I'm looking at this and it's a little bit rough right down here around the shadow. Let's just soften that up just a little bit. And that right here is on the bunny layer. Again, black hides and white shows. I'm going to go to the paintbrush. I'm going to set it a, a soft brush. And then I'll just come out here and just paint a little bit of black right onto that edge, just taking out some of those rough edges in there. And there we are. Our nice Easter Bunny Easter card is all done. I have a link on my download page for this particular project for a different video that I did on how to put images onto cards in Photoshop Elements. So you can take a look at that if you want to do that. And for that, you need to have everything on one layer. Here's the easiest way to do that. Go up here to the top layer, hold down the Control, Shift, and Alt keys, and then just tap the E key once. And what that does is it copies all of this stuff up onto one new layer. And you can then copy this layer over into any other project that you're working with. So there you go. There's our Happy Easter Easter Bunny card. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that Like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, take a look at my complete training course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, and I'll see you next time.